Imperator's Vlog, February 27th, 2015. Today, the world grieves the passing of Leonard Nimoy, who played the original role of Mr. Spock, first officer of James T. Kirk aboard the Starship Enterprise. Today, Leonard Nimoy passed away at his home in Los Angeles. He was 83. The first time I laid eyes on Leonard Nimoy in his role of Mr. Spock, I was mesmerized. I was 11 at the time, at a Boy Scout meeting, when I saw Spock on TV in the next room. I was drawn to him like a magnet. This particular group will move out beyond that area in all directions in an effort to surround it, possibly capture it. Your orders are shoot to kill. Protect yourself at all times. Commander Joto, disperse your search parties. Aye, aye, sir. Lewis, Vincy, take your men out. Mr. Spock? Capture it? I don't recall giving any such order. You did not, sir. I merely thought that if the opportunity arose... I will lose no more men. That was it. From then on, every chance I got, I found one excuse after another not to go to Boy Scout meetings for the rest of that year so I could stay home and watch the adventures of Jim Kirk and Mr. Spock. There is no television series, bar none, that has had a more profound impact on my spiritual life than Gene Roddenberry's Star Trek, which I discovered at a very formative age. The mission of the Enterprise is to seek out and contact alien life. Has it occurred to you that there's a certain inefficiency in constantly questioning me on things you've already made up your mind about? It gives me emotional security. Leonard Nimoy, in his role as the Vulcan first officer aboard the Starship Enterprise, led me to first contact with the Vulcan culture. How? The only person to ever turn down a seat in the Federation's council. How? Officiating at Spock's wedding? He never mentioned that his family was this important. The Vulcans led me to some of the most formative questions of my life. Are we alone in the universe? Do life forms exist beyond the limits of our perception? And if so, how can we contact them? These questions, in turn, led me directly to magic. Leonard Nimoy, thank you for the inspiration that led me to discover the reality of the inner planes and to establish contact with the beings residing on those planes. So tonight, in honor of your memory and in recognition of the profound impact that Spock had on my spiritual attainment, I salute you, Leonard Nimoy, and dedicate this first vlog to you. You were my childhood hero. Spock! Don't grieve him, Admiral. It is logical. The needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. Or the one. shall be your friend. Spark, live long and prosper, old friend, on the other side.